friends in this video I will show you that how to create a user and create a separate table space for that particular user and assign that table space to the user why I am making this video because many of you know that we should not use the default table space provided by the oracle that means you know the default table spaces that is system, sysof, uh, undo, users but those are uh, separate actually users uh, db users uses to store their objects in users table space but we should not do this thing every time when a schema is created first you know the difference between user and schema okay so I am assuming that you are uh, aware about schema and of uh, user okay so uh, if you don't know just uh, uh, write down in comment so that in next video I will describe in very simple words uh, that what is schema and what is user okay so when we create any schema in our production database we try to create a separate table space for the schema so that during db migration or any other activities or many things there are one thing is all objects will be in the same table space and uh, no other schema objects will be uh, available there so it will be good uh, good thing one another thing is if that table space got corrupted so it will not affect other schema objects that is the also positive point so there are lots of benefit by creating a separate table space for a particular schema so today I will show you the same I will create a new user actually schema user and uh, will assign him a separate default table space so that he can create any object inside his own table space okay so first create uh, sorry connect to database to create a user you have to connect your database either with system user or sys user so I have connected with uh, sys tba role first check that uh, the user which I am going to create is already exist or not okay so there is no user having name ksh so great and uh, just check out the total table spaces okay what is the name of column i don't know yeah, table space name. So here you can see here is users table space undo sysox and system table space. So there is no other custom table spaces. Okay. So first we will use uh, we will create user command is create user username identified by password so I will uh, put the passwords same profile will be default ok user has been created Uh, 
there we can check that uh, the whether the user can able to connect the database or not yeah why it is not able to connect because it is the mandatory privilege to grant any newly created user so that he can actually create a session right so first grant this privilege granted now this user can able to connect fine just check the user yeah so now let's check out that by default which table source has been assigned to this user just formatting yeah okay yeah so the default table space is users and actually by default user table space is assigned to any newly created user so i need to create a different table space for this user so first create the table space create table space table source name so ksh ts you can use any name and uh, append in last ts which uh, help us to identify that is it is a table space of ksh user data file you have to mention the data file location so i don't know though i don't know that where are my data files so i just query is the path where my all data files are been stored so again create table space kshts data file copy the path data file name ksh01 dbf you have to mention the size i will give here 10 mb you can mention here auto extend on or off these all are optionals auto extend i will give it uh, on yeah table space has been created actually here the 01 denotes that it might be required that uh, in future i need to add more tables uh, more data files in this table space if it get filled so let's check out the data file has been created yeah it has been added now i need to alter the user so that he can able to use this table space only so alter user username in default table space ksh ts fine now check whether this is in change not yeah so the default table space has been changed to ksh ts now this user will be able to create any object in his own specific table space that is ksh ts so what do you think now the user user will able to create in a table let's check it out create table any table name test define column where get to 20 just one column yeah it is throwing error that insufficient privilege so by this error you cannot identify that what is the problem but as a dba we have to check because the user definitely complaining that they are getting ora 1031 they are not able to create table and all that so as a dba you have to you need to check that why during creation table creation user is getting this error so 
first as a DBA we will check that whether the user ha has the privilege to create the table where you can check so no term the view is disk view is DBA sys briefs okay here you can check bear grantee yeah so here you can see the user only having the create session privilege that's why he is not able to create any table so we have to assign create table system privilege to that user fine again check yeah user now having the create table privilege now what do you think the user will able to create just check it out yeah now the user is able to create table but what do you think the user will able to insert the data to let's check it out insert into test values say ksh infotainment ok it is exact error what I uh, want to show you after granting create table privilege user is able to create the table fine but when he is trying to insert value in the table again he is getting the error that no privileges on the table space the table space assigned to the user so what is this error so again they will complain you and what you will check you will check the quota on this table space so the view name is dba ts quotas fine query select star from dbts quotas where username ksh no row selected that means the user does not have any quota on his own table space so we need to assign some quota you can assign uh, some particular quota that is 100 mb 10 mb or unlimited so as we know that this table space is dedicatedly created for this user only so we can assign unlimited quota fine so editor the user ksh quota unlimited on table space name fine again check yeah so here the max byte shows that how much quota has been assigned to this user minus one shows it is unlimited and this bytes column shows that how much space the user had consumed in this table space so currently there is no uh, data has been inserted by this user in this table space just he has only the table but actually there is no data so it uh, hadn't uh, consumed uh, any space in this table space okay so now again we will try to insert and here you can see one row has been inserted fine so today what you learn so the main thing is whenever you create a user going to create a user first you need to check whether the username is already exist in database or not fine after that if you are planning to create a separate table space for that user so you should need to check that whether the table space you are trying to create is already exist or not if it does not exist then you can create now you have to change 
now you have to change the default table space for that user yeah default table space for that user so that user can use this table space to store his objects and insert data fine after assigning a table space to user you have to assign quota on the table space without this quota permission the user will not able to insert any single row on this table space okay fine so hope you get my point and uh, i hope this video will help you and if you find it help uh, helpful kindly like and subscribe and share and if you want more topics please drop a comment in comment section and i will try my best to make video on that topic okay thank you for watching Thank you.